So I see a lot of posts about moral veganism, and I'm just gonna cut to the chase. It makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Um, first of all, I have no biases against veganism as it is as a dietary choice. If you do it for your health, great. If it works for you, go for it. But I just have an issue with people crusading and moralistically demonizing people for their dietary choices when they live in an industrial civilization that is fundamentally based on the invasion, destabilization, usurpation, uh, and destruction of entire ecosystems to maintain their standard of living. The fact is, if you truly believed in not wanting to contribute to any suffering, and you wanted to be consistent with the basis of your moral vegan belief, then you would stop supporting government, since it's the greatest perpetuator of social oppression and suffering around the world. Government fundamentally relies on committing constant aggression through violence, theft, and coercion in order to assert its control over everything. So you'd have to accept that politics is a giant, completely corrupt brainwashing machine that subjugates all forms of life and creates way more problems around the world than it claims to fix. So you have to get over the wishful thinking and the Stockholm Syndrome and get consistent with your beliefs. Government has always been this way, it will never change, and supporting it, even through voting, no matter what your wishful thinking says, is basically just making you culpable of all the horrible suffering it commits daily around the world, which is way worse than any meat eater has ever done, or could collectively do. So congratulations, now you're a voluntarist and you're one step closer to sanity. But then you would have to go live out in nature, using only what the land can sustainably provide, without any of the products used by industrial civilization, since industrial civilization is the greatest mechanism of destruction, suffering, and death in the world. That means no computers, no cars, no plastics, no fossil fuels, basically not using anything that can't be created and used sustainably. Your food, would have to come from permaculture. Growing your own food to ensure the least amount of suffering possible, never killing plants, but only eating its fruits and seeds, then you'd have to dedicate your life to cleaning up the environment and defending against government and industrial civilization to prevent further suffering. But let's be honest, you won't do it because it's not convenient, and you'd rather focus on a narrow spectrum of life that allows you to feel morally superior while not disrupting your privileged standard of living. There's no moral righteousness in what you eat. You know, thinking that you're morally clean. Um, also, most vegans that I know aren't getting their food from permaculture farms. They're getting it from industrial agriculture. You know, that's using pesticides and chemicals and that's using huge combines and tractors that's tilling up the soil, that's killing snakes, mice, uh, rabbits, gophers. Um, birds, the runoff goes into the rivers, it's cr killing fish and entire marine life and all that stuff. So it's, you're not, you're not saving the animals, you're just doing it because you don't like the thought of animals dying brutally. And I've seen the videos too. They're horrible. Nobody wants that. Um, personally, I prefer to get my meat from the farmer's market and I get my veggies from there too. Um, I think that industrial monoculture is god awful. But... It's not the dietary choice that makes it morally superior, you know? It's, first of all, where you get your food from, uh, but also what you do with your life, your energy. What are you giving back to life um, with what you take from the world, right? Because, you know, a person who's eating meat, who's going out there and helping thousands of people who's, you know, doing good work in the world versus a person who doesn't eat meat, who's just sitting on ass watching Dancing with the Stars, you're gonna tell me that that first person is a worse person because they eat meat? That doesn't make any sense. Um, it's just, it's a more multifaceted picture. And then people like to talk about how, you know, plants aren't sentient and animals are and, you know, whatever that argument is. Which, look, I, I get it because we like to see the world anthropocentrically. We like to think that, you know, things that look like us, that act like us, um, are more valuable, have more feelings. But if you look at a lot of the research nowadays, uh, it's coming out to show more and more that plants actually have an awareness 
a consciousness of their own on their own level that's different from people but that is able to predict, communicate, uh, feel, and speak in its own way, you know? Um, so having this like hierarchical scale of what's good to kill and what's not good to kill and making that polarization based on our own subjective preferences that's based on who we are is a little, again, it's a little myopic. It's, you know, it's uh, anthropocentric and I think it's kind of arrogant in a sense to see the world through that lens. Yeah. Uh, and if you do it again for physiology because you feel better, I've tried all the diets. I've done veganism, raw veganism, the alkaline diet. I've done the conventional diet, which is just shoving whatever the hell comes in, in your face. Um, that came off wrong. Or did it? Uh, I've done the paleo diet. I've done the ketogenic diet. And uh, they're all great. You know, I, I just have that constitution and some people don't. Um, also, I feel that people do better with a meat-based diet. Some people do better with a meat-based diet. You know, look at the ketogenic diet and all the benefits that has, the paleo diet. There's a lot of research out there showing that people benefit way more than doing a vegetarian diet that's based on grains, right? And then if you do better, if you, you function more efficiently and more high caliber, you're able to do more in the world and be a better person, more aware, alert, you're growing faster, you're consciously evolving. Doesn't that ultimately have the moral high ground in the grand scheme of things? I think so. You know, the good in the world that a person does compared to the good in the world that, you know, 50 chickens do, I think, you know, can't even compare the two. Um, so that's, that's my perspective, but it really comes down to an industrial civilization. Um, and also where you get your food from, right? Those are the two big factors. So anyway, just want to put that out there and, uh, just stop the argument, please. There's way more important issues out there, and this is kind of a very narrow, small, doesn't matter, really, issue. So stop criticizing people for what they eat, please. Thank you.